One man. One mission. To become a better version of himself. In a world full of blocks. Can he go from amateur to pro? His story begins now. I honestly can't believe it's been over a year since we played in my survival world. It's back though. Welcome back to another episode of the survival world. I don't even know what I call this anymore. Is it the let's play? Is it the survival world? Don't actually know. But uh, yeah, we're back. There has been a few additions. I have still played, just not really recorded. There is a few new additions and a few new changes that I will update you all on throughout the episode. Uh, for example, there, I've played a lot in 1.20. Uh, there is some clips on screen right now of me going raiding all the smithing templates. I've gone and got a sniffer egg. I've gone and done all sorts of different adventurous stuff. I've gone and chopped down some cherry wood. I don't even know if that's even a clip. I just remember doing it. <laughs> um, I've just gone and got a lot of the 1.20 features just while I've had some spare time. Um, if you heard me take damage there, that was me in the game. Hello, I am back. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We have a bamboo farm over there, so we have access to bamboo wood, because uh, we didn't have that before. Our storage room has now changed slightly, because I don't like the fact that it was it was just too slow a lot of the times when I needed it. So, I decided to change this, and this is how it works, alright? So all these are barrels, right? Just to save on lag, all of these are barrels, and they all still filter the exact same way. But, oh my gosh, there's nothing here. Where's it all gone? I'm back to manual storage. That was way too close. Hello. Um, I'm back to manual. I will show you exactly what I've done. If you all remember the old storage room, this part of the roof, by the way, is finished. Just, just saying. I did that about a month ago. <laughs> so if I come into here, we have a new manual storage room with signs, of course. Uh, so yeah, this is just organized in a way that I see fit. All my wood stuff is over here. All my stones, gravel, bricks, all that sort of stuff. Wood bits are over here basically miscellaneous stuff it's just all randomized but i know where everything is and i've got some spare storage there if i need it so this is basically my new setup and if anyone remembers this area we have a couple of new additions here i think from when i last recorded that are just loading in in the background we have a mangrove tree farm and we have a overpowered moss and bone meal farm it's mainly a bone meal farm but yeah because the composters are all there but um, yeah, I can just basically pause that if I want and stand in the middle and collect moss myself. Uh, it's very, very, very fast. Um, and I think that is the only addition here. Oh, this is the mangrove poppy girl farm, which is used to power this. And my villagers are gone. <laughs> my villagers are gone. I was sick. Well, I say all gone. These are just spares that I needed in the meantime. Ignore the cake. I traded a lot of cake from these guys just to level them up um and get some xp and things so just ignore the cake it's just there because i didn't want to carry it all back uh what else has changed here there is quite a few things that has changed um my villagers are going to eventually move to where my base is just in different builds i have so much planned so much planned that i just wanted to get an update video and an actual episode out like i'm doing right now before i actually start on all the projects because i feel like me just jumping into a project would be completely odd if that makes sense like i feel like i feel like i can't jump into a project straight away because i feel like i've been gone for so long don't worry we are going to do stuff today that is the part of the plan that's why we're making an episode i'm not going to spend an entire episode explaining where i've been what i've been up to etc etc you guys know the drill if you watched my last ep my, not my last episode my last video where i did sort of an update video i did say in that video i'd be back in a couple of weeks and i but that just ended up being a couple of months even three months uh, until I'm actually recording this video right now. But yeah, um, we are going to do stuff today. I have two sniffer eggs that we need to put to good use. And I'm going to make a farm. That I think is the only thing I'm missing from 1.20, you know. I think that's the only thing. I'm not making a cherry wood farm. I just need an area to farm all the sniffer stuff. The last thing I'm going to address very, very quickly. In case you all missed the last video. I'm sure some of you watched it. But some people that might be completely new here. I have no idea what I'm talking about or have seen my series, just don't know how they haven't seen the update basically from a couple of months ago. The custom terrain is gone. 
Um, I explained why in that video. I would link it in the cards above uh, for those that want to watch it and in the description. It's basically my last video on my channel, but I'll link it anyway, uh, just for ease of access. Uh, but basically, long story short, I was very demotivated to continue the terrain because I felt like I couldn't build other things. I had to build terrain first, which put a lot of strain on me actually wanting to play the game. So I decided to remove it. And I am so glad I did because I'm actually very motivated to play and build and do other stuff. So that's the plan. Anyway, enough of this. Let's get into actual episode content. The question I want to know now is where do I build this farm, this sniffer farm? I need it to be in range of where I'm going to be building most of the time. Maybe up on this hill might be a good start. So from what I've read on the wiki, sniffers remember where they've, you know, gone and searched for seeds and things for up to 20 blocks. But I don't know if that means actual 20 blocks or it means a 20 by 20 area. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's going to be 20 blocks. So let's just clear out this little bit here and start to plan what we're going to do. The question I want now is do I want this to look good or do I want this to be functional? That is the question. And I think I can mix in a bit of both. Okay, changing plan with where I want the farm. I don't think I'm going to want it up there because I'm thinking in future I might end up doing some kind of big build up there. So let's just think smartly about this. Maybe somewhere like here would do. I think this would be plenty of space to be honest. So let's dig out an area and have it two blocks deep and I'll try and work out what I want the shape to be. It's going to be a bit circular, so bear with me. Okay, and if we go into free cam, this... Probably, I want to bring this up this way a bit, just so it's like not completely like this. Uh, so let's just quickly carve out an area here, and that should be okay. Let's try that, just so it doesn't look... It still has that really weird egg shape, doesn't it? I don't like that egg shape. I'll try and think of something. All right, that shape should do us, I think. So that's the one we're going to work with. Right, because of the shape of this, we're going to struggle a little bit with the collection system. I mean, the collection system won't be too difficult. We could do it around here. But in terms of the minecarts, it might be a little bit tricky to get around the whole thing and circle it back round. So I'm going to have to try and work this out. All right, guys, I think I've done it. I think I've worked out the path. Obviously, we're going to have to put some powered rails into this bit just to make sure that it doesn't stop. But I think we have this area covered in terms of a collection system. I'm going to put some hoppers under the rails here leading into some chests here. And then we're going to add some powered rails and it should be all good for the collection system. Fingers crossed. All right, so that took longer than expected, but basically everywhere where I could have included a powered rail, I placed one. Don't forget, I've got a gold farm, so it's not much of a problem. I just don't want to run the risk of it freezing on a corner and then I'm having to wonder why my stuff's not being collected. So I would sooner take precautions now, make sure that it can keep going and it doesn't freeze because I know sometimes minecarts do that. And that should be all of us good. That is the collection system basically done. I just need to install the chests and install the hoppers, which we're going to do, let's say, cut these ones out here for now. Dig out an area here. Dig that out as well just for now. And then let's go I don't know, let's make a little area here for where the chests are going to go. Uh, do we want to do chest, chest, chest like that? Hang on. I can't even do this one. There like that. We'll make them double. Uh, and then do I want... Okay, so let's connect hoppers like this. And then run them like so, like that. Just so, because I know this can collect quite a few things, especially when we have a lot of sniffers. So I just want to make sure that this minecart never gets full. This is probably way too many, but <laughs> let's just keep going. Um, and then let's quickly place place all the blocks here and here. And then place those rails back. Because don't forget, the rails are going to be going over these. It's just those hoppers are transferring it over to somewhere that is a bit more accessible. Maybe we can push it back. Let's have a look. We could probably push this back a little bit if we really wanted to. Seems to be going well. Seems to be going well. I like how it's doing it already. Yep, that's good. It's covering most of the area. Most of the area that we need it to cover, it is going. It's not stopping. It is very quick. I want to make sure that it covers the whole area as much as possible, which every single block has a rail on it. I just want to make sure it goes round. Like I've not made a mistake. And it seems to be right the way round. Yep, that is absolutely perfect. Right, that's installed. Let's just... Time lapse to build, I guess. Do we time lapse this or do we just do it by hand? I don't know. Let's time lapse. Why not? I 
And there it is, the very detailed and textured pen for the sniffers. Now, uh, this is my first proper time building a pen like this, because usually I would just stick fences around and just let them walk around in like some kind of pen. Never done anything like this before. I've done something similar, and actually in the world anymore. If you guys remember when I had the terrain, I used to have them crop fields. Wait, I think I do have an example of one. Yeah, so you can kind of see what I've done with the walls around here. I've sort of done the same thing, but I've never done it for an animal pen before. So this turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with the texturing and things. Um, the blocks that I have used, I've used jungle logs, the strip ones, uh, which I'm still having some despawn around the outside, which is not, never good. I have used some of the planks, and I've also used brown mushroom blocks to try and create some kind of shadows. Um, in the depths of light. You can kind of see I've used it more towards the bottom. I've used the planks interchangeably with the logs towards the top. Um, and it looks really, really good. I've added some details along the outsides. Where do you keep coming from? I've had many zombies spawn here. You probably saw them during the time lapse. I just keep getting zombies here. I don't know where they're coming from. That is basically the pen done. The sniffers, uh, I'd say close to hatching. They're probably a few minutes off. Because uh, I think it's 10 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, on moss. Um, and it's like 20 minutes when it's on regular blocks and they're both placed on moss blocks So they should hatch fairly quickly and then once we have those We just need to wait for them to generate us some seeds so we can breed them and then we'll keep breeding them Getting more seeds and then eventually we'll have enough sniffers to generate us a lifetime supply of torch flower seeds And I think it's pitcher pods if I'm not mistaken. I'm not entirely sure what they're called They're the only two things of 1.20 that I currently do not have I think I've got all of the trims. I've got all. I've not got all of the shards actually, or the shards they're now called. Um, oh, there we go. They have just gone again. And as soon as they go another time, we will have two baby sniffers. I'm pretty sure there's only three stages. But that is pretty much everything that I wanted to do in this episode. I wanted to get this sniffer pen built. And also, I ran into a problem while building this. So the hopper minecart's going around absolutely fine. But I completely <laughs> look at all the redstone torches I place. It's crazy. I forgot that I built terrain over this section here because this was all open air at one point and I ran into a few problems trying to get as you can see here especially around this area where I had to try and work on some of the blocks and things and try and pillar up and I just got to the point where I left the pillars in because I couldn't bother taking them down and that is the collection system all all set up perfectly fine. You can kind of see what we've done with the bamboo farm over here as well while we're in free cam. This is just an extension mod, but it's like a performance mod or like a... Well, it's not a performance mod. I'll say it's more vanilla mod like a lot of the creators use. We are missing some bamboo. We might have to extend the wall. We are eventually going to cover that with a build. We're eventually going to cover that with a build. I just need to plan them out first because I want to start planning my builds in creative a lot more because I feel like it opens so many more opportunities when you start planning your builds prior to building them. Something like this where you're freestyling, I think it's fine because, you know, it's not really that hard to freestyle. You just place your blocks here and there and eventually you work out what you want. With big builds and houses and things like that, I feel like planning them in creative first opens up so many more doors. So I'm just going to be transparent with you guys right now. Uh, two things before I end the episode. One, I'm going to be planning my builds in creative most of the time first just so i know what i'm doing and i'll be using like matica to have like a ghost version if you don't know what like matica is then go and have a look on youtube of what it is but it's basically where i can see a ghost version of my build that i have done in creative to then rebuild block for block rather than copying for pictures uh, a lot of creators use like matica more than what people would like to admit but i'm going to be transparent and say that i am going to use it make sure you go in the video description of this episode to my twitch.tv link where i'm going to be live streaming the launch of metroverse season 3 which is my patreon server where you guys can come on and play with me all my patrons that we got a baby sniffer okay we got one awesome we just got another one <laughs> as i was about to go in f5 and do some more talking to you guys we have a second baby sniffer um, so I'm gonna have to AFK this for a bit after the video has ended, but yeah, uh, Patreon server is going to be launching at some point. Make sure you follow me and turn notifications on on Twitch to, to be notified when that launches. I'm going to be streaming on that server quite regularly, uh, playing with you guys, that are my Patreons, or the ones that are signed up on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a way that you can support me making content and you get extra perks in return. The link to that is also in the description box below. And the very final thing is that episodes will hopefully be a bit more frequent, 
but just don't expect crazy things in the episodes. I want to try and build up the consistency again before I start going crazy with builds and things like that that happens in the videos. I just need to find the sweet spot, basically, is my point. As soon as I found that sweet spot, I'll be on a roll. But yeah, just I'm going to try and focus on doing more chill episodes from now on just to try and get back into it because I don't want to jump the gun, so to speak. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you guys in a bit and goodbye.